Hi guys, welcome to another short video. I'm just going to show you guys the sweet pepper. Here they are, they're ready to eat. Nice sized peppers. Yup, they might miss each of the bush. Dear guys, so those start to change color but they're still um edible because remember i told you in the last video some sweet peppers are green and some are red so this is starting to ripe they're very juicy when they're ripe they carry a different flavor when they're ripe from when they're green so i'm just going to reap these now there's a bit of melon that's plant chew here Growing nice sizes, guys. And these are revolution um, peppers. Revelation, revolution. I think it's revelation. So as I said before, I'm about to reap these peppers. Oh, and we got rain yesterday. That's why the leaves are so wet got rain yesterday and it's like about quarter past six in the morning right now guys and I'm doing this video it's on a Thursday and it's quarter past six that's when my um, cousin go to market so I'm selling these to him I think the best time to pick pepper is when the the dew is off it but trust me I can't take the sun right now because in the day sun come up very very hot so I can't take that right now and guys remember the last video there wasn't any weeds in the in the um in the ground and now look there grass grow very quickly I'm telling you this one fall off the tree I don't know why but it has fallen off let me see if anything is wrong with it so guys see nothing is wrong with it nothing at all it's very big probably something walk across and go to cheap with a dog or something run across and down the street and it fall off so yep so guys in a minute not at all probably not don't use it then. So my sister is spraying her cabbage. So I'm here talking to her. Now guys, if you want to know when a sweet pepper is ready, it's like this. It's very green, like dark green. That's ready and you can act. Oh Lord. It's a knife. And then you want to cut it. Like so. So you get it like that. As you can see, very, very ready to eat. See, they're very tough as well. Let me show you the difference. So this is uh, um, this is one that is ready, and then over here now we have this one. So this one isn't ready as yet. So whenever you feel it, you can feel the soft, the softer texture. So this is ready also. You can feel it. So whenever I'm picking sweet peppers, I always like to go by root to row so I don't miss any. So I always go like two rows and pick two rows. Go right down till I finish one row and then come up in two rows again. Here, so I'm um, looking at this sweet pepper tree you can see where they are blossoming ones this is how sweet pepper work they are blossoming ones they are small peppers and they are also big peppers that can be reaped so they are big peppers here as well big peppers here as well and then you have the blossom there's a 
focus right there. And then you have small petals also. Then you have small, small blossoms coming in there as well. There you go, small blossom coming in there as well. You have smaller petals. And if you look at the leaves, the leaves are very healthy. So there's no sign of disease on this particular tree. So there you go, big peppers. Small peppers. And they also have blossoms. And this one tree, see right here, there's like um, three peppers. See those three big juicy peppers and all of those are ready so i'm gonna go ahead and cut those this one of an extreme like snail has damaged this so this is um this can't be used for anything so i'm gonna have to um snail the ground slug the ground have to put some um snail slug have to flash some snail slug so that snail don't damage any more of the um peppers and what I normally use I normally use um, mix the snail slug in um, flour so I use it I need it like you need a dumpling and you flash it around the ground or you can use um, uncooked rice with also a bit of flour and throw a little slug over it and stir it up and flash it in the ground so guys you want to make sure to use um, gloves when you're doing that and also a mask because snail slug really stinks smells terrible guys this tree have about let me count one two three four five five six peppers on it okay. you see that do you see that oh my god that's a this is a huge melon that's a huge melon yo and those are the bees so they pollinate the melon so whenever they pitch on the blossom and they pitch on the next one next one that's how the um the melon is there so don't know too much on that so i'm not going to elaborate on that but i have to show you guys something i just see a huge pepper oh my god it's so huge Normally in the drought you don't get huge pepper like this because the rain didn't fall until last night. So it's been a strong drought. I have to be watering it with my hand. And trust me, I can't give it much water because as I told you guys before, water is very expensive in this area because we don't have running water. So we have to buy water from truck. From what I'm doing because I'm actually picking peppers right now. But they're so fruitful oh my god i'm so proud of myself are you guys proud of me also because i'm so proud of myself yes i am there you have it guys i have finished picking so big and fruitful look at that one